Hey everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a high-level overview of the new Asus mouse, which is the Rogue Harpy Ace, which hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, which is the Aim Lab edition, though. Now, what's interesting about this mouse is that this was, just for transparency, sent to me from Aim Lab. Now, the title, I am not being dramatic when I say I think this is the best FPS mouse I've ever used for, for this year so far. And the reason why I didn't really clean off my mouse is because I want you to understand that I definitely put a lot of hours into utilizing these mouse. One, you'll notice that I have my own custom edition of a G Pro wireless. It shows how much I love this mouse. And then my G303, which you guys know I did a review of a long time ago and I've yet to switch from it. Look how worn down my, my G303 is. I've definitely put a lot of love into this mouse. Now, I never thought I would be switching so soon from this mouse though. Now, what we're gonna be covering in this review I'm not much of a, re a review person, but I'm just going to give you the perspective of a real gamer who's utilized this mouse, who now loves this mouse. I think I have over probably around 80 plus hours utilizing this mouse in such a short period of time. So I can give you a really good feel for what this mouse is. We're going to do unboxing, sound tests, and talk about why I dislike the software. Now, I know that that last part, because a lot of people are like, go in depth with the software. I don't like software with mice. So I'm just going to be transparent about that. Now, let's first off talk about what's in the box. The box... As you can see, it's very Aim Lab edition. Now, just for transparency as well, I do do a lot of work with Logitech. You guys know that. Now, the interesting part is I never thought I would say that I would be using an Asus mouse, for one. The box is very interesting how it opens up. There was another thing in here. Uh, the back part just kind of talks about some of the features and everything, you know, go in Aim Lab. You know, it's got a 54 gram ultra light, which is really, really nice in terms of weight distribution. Now, what was actually in the box? You know, you get this letter from Aim Lab here talking about, you know, collaboration, which I thought was really, really cool, uh, especially when they sent this to me. Sorry, I got a little bit dirty there, but it's okay. I know you guys can see it. And also tells you to visit the website. Now, the reason why they say this, and I learned this later, is that if you go through the website, you can change the, the settings of the mouse within, I believe, in Aim Lab and stuff. You can kind of create your own settings and customize it. I'm not a big fan of Asus software. I think it's very intrusive, personally. So if you are the person who, just to kind of get, get blunt to the point, who likes a lot of buttons, I'm going to show you guys the mouse again more in just a minute. I just want to show you what's in the context of the box. Who likes a lot of buttons, you'll notice this very, very simple, but that's because that's why I title it the best FPS mouse. That's why the title of the video exists the way it does. Is If you're looking for macros, buttons, I don't use macros, never have in mice personally. If you want to change like the RBG lighting and all that crazy stuff, this may not be the mouse for you. I think the simplistic in the design is what's key for this mouse. It's why I was a big fan of the G303 and we're going to do a comparison here in a little bit. But let's wrap up the context of what's in the box. So they send you that little letter and you know you get a little pamphlet, you know, in search of incredible, you know, standard Asus stuff. Now when we look at what's in here, oh, you get some little stickers and stuff like that. I guess if you, you're know, a big fan of stickers. I guess that's kudos to you. I, I didn't realize it came with stickers. Now, it, it, like they talk about what's programmable, you know, the different profiles and stuff here and stuff. I kind of skipped this. I just kind of went straight to the point. It is a dongle. Now, keep in mind with the dongle, I'm using a different wire, but it just means that it's compatible with other wires. You'll see that there. You know, standard uh, USB, pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Don't have to worry too much about it. Uh, so it plugs into a lot of different things. Now, my biggest tip when using the dongle is to remember I'll drag it over here for just a second. I have it actually on one of these little, uh, I forget the word of it. Uh, I can't think of the, the word at the moment, but I'm sure I'll remember in the comment section later. Uh, but the thing is to keep the dongle close by. And this is anybody who's using a Logitech and mouse as well. The reason why I recommend this is that you want this close by. You are you want to make sure you have the best frequencies, reception. It doesn't matter how good the wireless is. Even if the your tower is close by, I recommend using the wire and plugging it up close by. And let me bring by the wire over here and just so you see what it came with and everything. Like it comes with its own little little thing right here. But you don't have to use it. A lot of these ports these days are pretty universal. So if you're not a big fan of this wire, I mean, it's fine. I don't know. I just, just happen to have one that I already threaded through. So just so you know what's in the box, you know. Another thing that was in the box that I found interesting that you have here was the fact that you come with grip tape. I haven't used the grip tape. I thought the mouse itself, which was what I'm going to praise here in a little bit, was fine without it. Sorry if my hands are a little shaky. I haven't really eaten eat lunch at, this, at the moment. Now we're going to talk about the mice feet as well, the replacement mice feet. Which I find interesting. This is actually interesting. Look at this. Okay, so I actually didn't know this because I've already been using this mouse a lot already. But you'll notice it's got these four spots here. 
It has replacements if you would prefer to change this top part right here, if you prefer that surface. Now, the reason I probably wonder why they did this is because if you look at the G Pro, it covers more of the surface area up here. Maybe that'll make you more custom. And if you look at the G303, it covers a much larger surface area. So maybe that's why they did it. What's weird is, I mean, I already enjoy the glide and the feel already of this mouse. I think it's already pretty fantastic in how it glides and how it feels. Definitely in the fast turn because it's using that, you know, that good Teflon. You know, it's very nice. Feels feels good, especially on on the. I use. I'm currently using a Skypad mouse pad. So if, I've been using Skypad for a really long time now. They also sent me this product, but. I would, I, I would, had use a lot of artisan pads. I think I had, I own like seven different ones. I have about, if you guys know, I did a review on the channel. I have over like 20 plus mouse pads. I got a lot of them and I've stuck with the, the sky pad the most so far. That's pretty much everything that comes with it. It's pretty straightforward. So I kind of wanted to bl blitz through that. Some things I didn't know. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a very simple person when it comes to product. I need something that is, that's going to work and that is very efficient. And that's what makes this mouse so good, is that it's really simple, very efficient. I'm gonna do a, a mouse click test here in a minute, but we talk about where the mice gate fits. They're really, really nice. You can change the DPI at the bottom when you do that. You see it'll turn a different color. So I believe, so that's a lower DPI, I click it again. Higher, let's change it again. And then you click it again and then boom. Um, right now I'm at 1,600 DPI. That's what I feel most comfortable with. And you can change the DPI settings and kind of reset them accordingly. You can also has a button to kind of pair it. I guess if it were to probably if you need to replace the dongle, I assume making that assumption there, but it is pretty nice. And I kind of, you can kind of judge based on the DPI you're on by the color. Now this is where I will get into, let's talk about software briefly. Because what I did whenever I had this mouse is I set up the software, but I found it very, very intrusive and very hard to turn off. My recommendation, because you can tell that the DPI that you're on is to really, you go through the aim lab section and utilize that. And with that, you can tell which DPI you are on based on the color. Now I was on blue at the start, so we're gonna stick with blue because that's 1,600 DPI for me. But it's got different settings uh, on which you can set it at. And it will remember them. I mean, it's just a shame if you want to remap it, then you, I guess, I don't know if you have to leave the software on. This video just isn't for you if you want in-depth software. That's just not the type of gamer I am. That's just not what I do. I've already put that disclaimer out there many times. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut really quick to a sound test so you can hear how the click sound. Okay, now that we're done with the sound test, what I want to talk about is why I think that the shape works so well. And you'll be able to see, I, I hold my mouse in a very unorthodox way. I put my index and middle finger on the left mouse click, but also where I like the G303 was just the groove in here that really forces me to kind of hold the mouse a certain way. I really like how this mouse, because it's such a lightweight design, you know, the fact that we've already mentioned it's a lower weight and I had to jump cut just to make sure 54 grams, which is much lighter than this mouse, which is 70. And you know, the regular G Pro is 80 and the super light, I believe I'm blanking at the moment. Somebody will be able to put it in there for me. But what's interesting is that, I mean, it, it, you know, every mouse these days is pretty fantastic in terms of what it can do, right? You know, everyone boasts, you know, high DPI, you know, very low deviation, all that. I mean, I guess the plus side, I would say, I think the other mice last a little longer. This one has about 88 hours of battery life. I, I don't, I don't know if it's 88 for my testing. I, I maybe it might be a little less. It's kind of hard to say. Uh, I use it a lot. I feel like maybe I have to charge it every two to three days. So maybe that's around the time I, I barely turn it off. You know, you set it to the Bluetooth at the bottom there as well. Now when I compare these three mice, you know, from the weight distribution, this one is definitely the lightest, but I love the shape. There's the grooves on the side. I thought these would wear down after about 80 hours worth of use, but they're still kicking. One thing that bothers me probably more or less about the Logitech mice is the fact that over time, it definitely smooths out quite a bit. I probably gonna experience it more on the clicks here, but the surface is definitely more grainy. And also like the little aim lab logo that you can kind of see there, which is pretty, Pretty interesting. I like the grooves on the right as well. Their attention to detail with that. It's pretty easy to clean at the bottom. Never really had much of an issue with any of my mice doing that. I usually just get like a microfiber cloth, just rub it off and you're perfectly set and then pretty much good to go. 
I, I really think that this mouse deserves a lot more praise. I don't really see a lot of people talking about it as much. That's why I'm making this video. AimLab did not tell me to force me to make a video. They just sent it to me and told me what my thoughts were. I'm just, I'm over the moon about it. And if you watch my streams and I, I never thought I would be using a Asus mouse like this. If you're an FPS gamer, I highly recommend this mouse. It is a, a definitely game changer, especially, it, I guess you could say it's kind of on the smaller side now that you kind of see the, the Logitech mice next to it. I'm, I have all pretty much every Logitech mouse. I have some final mouse. It's definitely larger than a final mouse. I think the Zowies are much bigger. I think the Razer lightweight, I mean, that mouse was, is really, really expensive. It's not something I would probably highly recommend. If you're looking for something, this might be a better uh, alternative. Now, because I was sent this mouse, I actually don't know the price. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go research it and then overlay it here on screen. So I actually know the price. Now, what's interesting is I've been aim training a lot. And so it's, in, it's the last six weeks, a lot of people have been saying my aim is a lot better. And I, I you know, want to appreciate the compliments, but I've also been aim training a lot. This one, I've already started to get higher scores with I, and compared to what it was using the G303 as well as even like the G Pro. So now I kind of got those out of the way. I mean, if you, again, I, I found it interesting. I was going to put mark that down as like a negative, but I didn't realize this came with it in here. If you're very much into more surface action there, then you can replace these mice feet. My recommendation always when you peel off these type of mice feet is that you use, uh, you know, alcohol swabs and make sure you really get rid of like the stickiness and then you get to the core thing and then you just slap it on there. I don't know if I'm going to replace it because I love the way that it glides right now and I don't necessarily want to change that. It's an option. Uh, I guess that review would have to be for another time, maybe a follow-up and ask me if I'm still using it. I don't think I'm gonna put the grip tape on there. I think the grips on the side are fantastic. I always found that grip tape over time, if you have sweaty hands, tends to fall off. I don't know if that's the same with this grip tape, but just putting it out there that that tends to happen. Now, again, a great mouse. What we're gonna do is let's cut way to some gameplay. Let's go hop into Apex and do some TDM. And just very briefly for like a minute or two, kind of just talk more about the mouse. Now, in this portion, what we're gonna do is just grab could take a few shots in TDM, just kind of show just the comfort of the mouse, how it glides, how it feels. You know, for Apex Legends, it's a very fast paced game, new game mode here, TDM. In case you guys aren't aware of what like Apex is, probably wondering like, wait a minute, it's a BR. Well, they introduced TDM, so it does exist here. Nice little beam right off the rip there, not too bad. Just want to make sure I move before I get shot by somebody else. It, you know, it just, it just makes for a really nice mouse. I'm just overall, hey, free kill very nice and comfortable it doesn't feel like i have to struggle too much to really move it it glides fast granted you know i'm using the sky pad and everything so there is that but it just it has a nice comfort to it and because of the lightweight design usually sometimes when you go really light with a mouse you feel like you have to struggle a bit more i don't know why my audio just decided to, to drop there sometimes you feel like the the mouse the lightweight kind of works against you but it doesn't feel like that in this case uh so that's i think that's just a good level of engineering. I think the combination of both AimLab and Asus working on this, because I've always felt Asus mouse were a little too clunky, maybe focus too much on too many features, but I think AimLab really focusing on what it means to make a, a really great mouse is what really makes this shine compared to compared to the others. It might, it kind of does have me rethink. I think if I was Asus, I would really focus on what AimLab really brought to the table here. Because what they have done is that they've really came together to bring a package deal of what gamers are really looking for. And I'm not saying that Asus doesn't know what gamers are looking for. I just feel like, well, maybe, maybe just for the more hardcore individual looking for more performance. I know Asus tends to have a lot of features and functionality, which maybe for some, maybe if people who love Asus can, can kind of explain to me what your thought process is on that. It would be that because like Logitech mice are just so simple in their design and they kind of just do exactly what, you know, like, boom, here you go. That's it, you know, and what their, their intended engineer is and oh, I'm probably going to get eliminated. And now it shoots up an audio. I don't know why my audio keeps adjusting. Like, that's crazy. But I just kind of wanted to play a few rounds in here. Just kind of showcase, you know, in game, like how comfortable I am. You guys know in stream, I've been using this for a little while. So there is that. Um, I know, again, for these reviews, I'm not much a reviewer. You're looking at somebody who's just a gamer. Um, I've posted some reviews kind of thinking like, oh, I can do this. But I just like my my more authentic feel of just kind of talking about something I enjoy and like. And that's kind of it. You know, well, there's things I like and there's things that I don't like. This is something that I like. If you're looking for something that is simplistic and we'll kind of end on that note, because I think I've said that probably many times already before. But, you know, it's probably because I'm just shooting now in game and then having myself a good time you know at this point you know, i could let the gameplay run and just have some fun and that would be kind of it 
But again, guys, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all you guys for watching. And look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. If there's anything you do ever want me to review or just kind of look at, just kind of give, like, I guess my gamer pers pers perspective, then by all means, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys again. See you guys on the next video.